Okay, I'll show you that in just a moment, but first off, taking a live look in Burbank this afternoon, some clouds in the mix. Van Nuys coming in 62 degrees with some light wind, so we are starting to see the return of those breezier conditions. So taking a live look in Big Bear, speaking of chilly conditions, we have some fresh powder from this weekend, 46 degrees, so you want to bundle up, and winds for you, 15 miles per hour. So we're just starting to see some of those winds gusting into the teens, especially for our higher elevations, and temperatures, they're still cool out there. A so couple things in the mix, air quality looking pretty good out there. We're the green for most with those patches of moderate but here's what's heading our way over the next couple days we've got some winds so wind advisories in effect as we head out to northern portions of southern california and freeze warning so it might be warm during the day but overnight temperatures still very chilly i'll break it all down in the full forecast but for now i will toss it back to you too okay sheila thank you to the weekend but first we got to get through what's going to be a really nice week taking a look at malibu this morning a beautiful sunrise out there and look at this cloud cover just rolling through southern california to start the day so so we saw uh, quite a bit of that cloud cover this morning and chilly temperatures too. Cool starts to the day, but making for really nice afternoons. Malibu right now, clear skies out there, sunny, and temperatures coming in pretty comfortable too. You'll just want the sweater handy, 60 degrees. Our Blue Ridge Sky Cam also showing clear skies. Palmdale in the 50s, but look at this. Seeing wind gusts up to 35 miles per hour right now. So along the I-5 corridor, our higher elevations, those high deserts, still under a wind advisory through the rest of the day into this evening. We're seeing winds anywhere from 15 to 30 miles per hour and gusts even higher than that. So just keep in mind, we're going to continue to see those breezy conditions through early tomorrow. And speaking of early tomorrow, same areas also seeing some really chilly starts to the day. You saw it out there today, but those freeze uh, warnings may going to return once again. So just make sure you have the layers handy and then you can ditch them <laughs> by the time they're going to stay nice. So we have this trough of low pressure. It's in the mix today and that's why temperatures today are a little bit cooler than what we felt out there yesterday. But that's going to move on out and a ridge of high pressure is going to move into Southern California. For us, what it means is those temperatures are going to bump a bit. We have a nice warming trend Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We're also going to see the winds shift to more of a Santa Ana uh, wind pattern, but it's not going to be as extreme as what we saw over the past couple weeks. This is going to be light to moderate winds. Just keep in mind, though, it is going to be breezy out there over the next couple days. And then we're keeping a close eye on this. Here's that next chance to see some storms as we roll into the weekend. I'll show you that on Wednesday. Staying breezy, that warming trend continues into to Friday, temperatures in the low 70s for us. Then Saturday, that's when we start to notice the change. Temperatures are going to dip. We have that chance for showers. Sunday, not expecting to see too much sunshine, pretty cloudy conditions. And then we continue to cool as we head into next Wednesday. You have quite a bit of changes when it comes to those temperatures. Also, keep in mind this next storm system looking to be warm. So right now, we're not seeing any chances for snow, just those showers continuing. Finally, the deserts were in the 60s the next couple days and then warming up to the 70s just in time for the weekend and more rain on the way. So Colleen, Ellen, we got a little bit of 